I just got my deliveries. <sighs> That's my desk. That's my clothing and all of my clothes and purses and stuff. And I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff coming. That's a bunch of stuff I've got to take with me. Oh, it's happening, you guys. It's really happening. Can somebody explain this to me? Why does Amazon do this? A big box, excuse my feet, a big box, in a small box inside of a big box. They could have just sent that. I don't understand them. I just figured out what this box is. It's my change room. <laughs> this is... It's a um, half circle rod that hangs on the wall and then the shower curtain hangs down. So it's a chain, my change room. Yay! Hi, yarn of bees. Okay, so I got my first order in. It's right here. I can't lift it. It's way too big. I thought maybe you guys would like to see the unboxing. Um... Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm praying that this stuff is uh, going to be sellable and um, that it's as good as I hope it is. Okay, shall we take a look? It's packed in here pretty good, I think. Oh, wow, they bubble wrap the crap out of this. <laughs> Look at all this bubble wrap. That's just on the top. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to show this. Hang on. <sighs> Look at this. That is packed in there good. All the purses and everything, wallets and purses are on the top, and I'm assuming that the clothing is underneath. So let's dive in. Okay, here we go. You guys are getting the first peek. Even my sister hasn't seen this yet. She wants to see this stuff so bad. Okay. It's going to be crinkling. And probably lots of it. All right. Oh, these look so nice. Oh, it's awesome. Look at this. This is the first purse. Oh, you guys. There's a zipper on the top. Okay. And there's the plastic inside. Okay, like on the website, it does not show the inside of the purse. So, oh, wow. Okay, so there's a zipper on the side, there's a pocket on the side, and there's a zipper piece in the middle. And it's got a strap, so you can hold it either like this or on the strap. Oh, these are so cool. And it's faux leather. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Oh, I just love this. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. And look at it. It's got bling on it. I didn't notice that on the pictures in the on the website. But, oh, can you see it? Those are rhinestones, and there's rhinestones here. Oh, wow, this looks like a really high-end type purse. <laughs> All right, that's the first one. I think I got this in a couple colors. Okay, so I got two of those. Yeah, I got it in black as well. I 
I'm going to try and speed up the part of me trying to get this plastic stuff off. Here's the black one. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Very special. Blingy and... Oh, the rhinestones are all along the front, too. Can't really tell. Oh, these are nice bags. I'm going to have a hard time trying to choose which one I want. <laughs> but there's a couple of purses in here that I'd like to keep for myself. But, <laughs> you know, I also have some other bo <clears throat> excuse me, boho purses coming. I'm a purse person. Like, I don't carry a purse normally. But when I have a purse that I really like, <clears throat> then I'll carry one. Okay, these are the ones that I've been waiting for, that I am so excited about. Now I get into it. They're a little bit smaller than I thought, but that's okay. They pack these really well. It comes in a little sleeve here, like this. Oh, this is so cute! Oh, wow, you guys, look. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it is so much better than in the picture. Oh, my God. Okay, hang on. How do you open it? Where's the... Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So, you flip this up like this. Oh, it's got a zipper on the top. Oh my God, this is so cute. As soon as I saw this, my first thought was grease. Ugh. Okay. So there's no pockets on the inside. It has a chain um, handle. Oh, this is so cute. It reminds me of a leather jacket that I had when I was a teenager. Isn't that just the coolest? And I got this in a couple of colors. Okay, so I got it in the white and then I got it in the blue. Oh, that's cute. This, this is blue jean and it actually looks like jeans. Jeez, it might actually be jeans. Isn't that cute? Ah, oh, that is adorable. Oh, I love that so much. And these zippers on the front front are functional, um, but I don't think you can put anything in. Well, you'd never find it again. <laughs> but yeah, the zippers are functional. Isn't that cute? I love that. Oh. I am so stoked. Okay, you guys. This purse I got because I was thinking about our community. And what is the one thing that we use on our hats? Pom-poms. Check this out. Oh, my God. It's even cuter than I thought. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, you guys. Oh, I'm going to have to get more of these. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. It's so soft. Oh, wow. So you've got a piece that's here. It's um, got a magnet and it flips open. Here's the handle. There's no pockets inside, I don't think. Nope. But it would fit a nice little wallet in there. Oh my goodness, isn't this so cute? And I got this in three colors, I think. But this one, of course, was my favorite because this is one of my favorite colors. Oh, it's. I would just want to sit there and hug it. Oh my God, is that soft. 
Isn't that the cutest little purse ever? Oh, let's see the other colors. Oh, you guys, there's a black and gray and white one. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, it's so squishy soft. I could just sit here and pet it all day. Then I got this one. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, I just love this. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's adorable. Oh, so cute. <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun setting all this up in my shop and doing the displays. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, these ones are a bit squished. <laughs> So we're going to have to put something in these to puff them out. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some, some work on these. But these are cute, too. These are ombre. And there's no pockets inside, but we've got, it says, love on it. That's the longer handle. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to put a um, like paper, stuff it with paper and reform it. But these are really cute. Oops. I thought that's so adorable. So I got one in that. And then I got one in this color. Woo! Okay. This is a glam purse for sure. All right. This reminds me of um, Legally Blonde. <laughs> so there's a zipper here. Oh. oh, look! It comes with a little change purse. Isn't that adorable? Aww! So that clips on to here. Oops. There. So it's like that. Oops, the cat's turned around. Isn't that cute? Wow. Okay, so we've got two zippers here. One here and one here. They're just fake zippers. They're not functional. I mean, they're functional, but they're not can't put anything in there. They're for show. Uh, there's one pocket. Oh, nope, two. There's two pockets. Whoops. There's one pocket on this side, one pocket on this side, and then there's a zipper pocket on this side. And then it comes with a strap. And then it comes with a little place that you can put a card, like business cards or something like that right here. So, that's cute. I like that. So, it's a black wallet. Whoop. Place to put your all your cards on both sides and then your change purse. This is really soft um, leather. Oh, and then it's got another spot here 
put your driver's license and some other cards. So there's lots of space for cards. And then there's, oops, another pocket right here. There's quite a lot of space in this. Hmm. Oh, and there's another pocket right here. Wow. I'm impressed. I just can't believe how soft it is. Huh. Wow. Okay. So I got that one in black. And then I got one in red. I wanted to see what these were like before I brought in a bunch of them. Oh, sorry. No, this is pink. This is um, Dusty Rose for my mommy. So, yeah. So that's cool. Those are nice. Okay, I brought in some men's wallets. Uh, isn't that cool? Oop. Okay, so there's a place to put your driver's license, a place to put your cards. Just your basic wallet for a man. And then they'll put too much in there, bulge it out, right? That's actually a nice wallet. So I got, I got this in brown as well, I think. I think I got this one in black and one in brown. Of course, now I can't get it back in the bag. Ooh, these ones are nice. So, this one's got the same thing for your cards. And this one's got two, two sections in it. One for your big bills, one for your little bills. <laughs> and it's got like a, inside it's kind of like a, a velvety, not velvety, well, yeah, kind of like a velvet. It's really nice. So I got, I think I got five of these or something. I have to look at my bill. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Okay, so I saw these hats. And I thought it was kind of like going in with the crochet knitted theme. They're not what I thought. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, wow. Oh, these are nice. I thought they were plastic, but they're not. They're material. Isn't that neat? Wow. That's really cool. And it's got the snap back. I don't like snap backs, but, and then on the brim, it has the, oops, it has the, um, what do you call it? Oh, you guys, you know, I, I can't even, I'm tired. So I got this in black and in white. Oh, oh sliding off the chair. Okay. Oh. This I'm excited for. I brought in, it comes in its own little bag here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, oh wow. Oh gosh, I might keep this, I don't know. Oh God. Look, it's a snakeskin pattern. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It's very shiny. Oh, I was not expecting that. The pictures just don't do stuff justice, I'll tell you. Oh, okay, let's see on the inside. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is a pack, you guys. This isn't just the purse. It's a pack. Okay, let me 
we'll get to that in a minute. So there's one pocket here, one pocket here, and this is a zippered pocket on the inside. This one here, it's a zippered pocket. So you've got pocket here, and you've got pocket behind, and then there's another zipper here. Oops, they already had it open. <laughs> there's lots of pockets in this. It's nice. Wow. Okay. And it also comes with the wallet. Oh. Oh, this is a clutch. Oh, you guys. This is insane. Okay. So here is the wallet. This is a second purse. This is so soft. Oh, this this faux leather or whatever. Oh my God, it's nicer than the real stuff. Okay, so there's a second purse here. Isn't that beautiful? And then it comes with, this is for all of your cards. Isn't that nice? So it comes as a set. Wow. Holy. You know, I could probably sell this separately as two different purses. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Because you can either have a small purse or you can have a big purse. Oh, this is just absolutely stunning. It's got the magnetic snaps on it. Isn't that just gorgeous, though? Oh, I love that. I brought this in for my oldest daughter. <laughs> I'll have to share it with you because it's totally her. <laughs> you guys see what it says? A little country, a little hood. That is totally her. It's going to be big on her. She's like a tiny mini me. She's like a small, extra small, but that's okay because this could be a night shirt for her. So, and this is a, this is a small, Man, that's shocking. It's more like a medium. Huh. Wow. Okay, so I got that for Ashley. Okay, now these hats I brought in for G Georgia's Dragon Boat team. I figured that they would be might be interested in this. And then whatever else, whatever they don't buy, I'm just going to put in the shop. are nice. Oh, I might have to keep one for myself even though I don't dragon boat anymore. <laughs> it's got the, the, um, what do you call it? The tightener thing, <laughs> the buckle that I like on hats. Look at that. Oh, that is so nice. George is going to want one of these for sure. That is gorgeous. So I got it in three different colors. I got three black. I got two white because they only had two left. Oops. Isn't that pretty? I love the gold dragon. And then I got the beige. I like that. I think they're going to really like these. I'll have to bring in more if they go crazy because there's like 20, 
20 um, paddlers on a boat. So if the word come, goes out that I've got these, who knows, maybe I'll end up having to bring in more. Because um, maybe all the teams are going to want one. But these are really nice. I'm impressed. Oh. All right, now we're getting into the clothing, you guys. Okay, Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts, this one's for you. I brought these in because I was thinking about you, and I just, I had to. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Okay. I like this. It's soft. It's thin. I don't know if you can see. Can you see my hands there? So it is thin. You do have to wear something under it. But I think they're cute. So I got that owl. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I think that's so cute. <laughs> yep. So that's a 3X. So when I got, when I started getting the clothing, I wanted to make sure that I had a range of sizes all the way up to 4X. So oh, I think that's cute. I'm going to have to steam them. Um, so I brought in those two owls. Okay. So I brought a couple of these in. Again, um, they're thinner. They're great for summer, though. But um, you probably have to wear something underneath them. Whoop. Oh, this is the dress. Oh. oh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see it. So it's like a, I think it's a below the knee dress. This size is 1X. So I'm shocked. They are pretty true to size. Um, normally when you buy wholesale, you have to be very careful on your sizing. But this is pretty true to size. So I brought that in a blue and I've got it in a pink. So there's the pink color. Okay, so I decided to bring in some cotton linen stuff um, for summer and Yeah, that's definitely cotton linen. Yeah, you can feel it. It's very light. And very, it's very thin. I don't know if you can, you can see my hand. It's very thin, but it's definitely light. But it's just a plain crew neck shirt. Um, this is an extra large. So, yeah. They, they are very good with their sizing, I'll have to say that. Um, this stuff would be really good for people, for women going through menopause um, that can't wear heavy stuff, that, um, yeah, that have the sweats. I'm, I'm luck, lucky I'm finished that, hopefully. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it would be really good for that. Okay, this I thought was adorable and I just had to bring it in. Ooh, the material's different. Again, very thin, but the material is so soft and squishy. They are long sleeved. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, wow. But again, really thin, really thin. 
why do they make it with such thin material? It would be, it's very, going to be very cool though. But I thought that was really cute. Good morning, yarn and bees. Ooh. <laughs> Today's the day, guys. Today is the first day of me putting my stuff in the shop. Oh. God, you guys keep slipping down here. Like, what the hell? Um, yeah, so it's, uh, sorry, changing lanes. Um, come on. Oh, oh for God's sakes, come on. There, that's better. Um, yeah, so George is behind me. got the van totally loaded. I've got stuff in, well, you can see I've got stuff in my my uh, car. It was funny, as we were just ready to pull out of the driveway of our house, um, the courier came and he brought me, you can see it right there, still in the bag. He brought me the mannequin that I needed for the kids clothes, for uh, my kids sweaters and stuff like that. So I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I've got the curtains are going to be coming tomorrow, so I'm going to have to go back and put that stuff up. Today is going to basically be bringing stuff, um, to the shop and setting up the desk and chair, <laughs> setting up the desk and the chair, um, uh, and, uh, trying to kind of figure out where we're putting stuff and Charlene my sister Charlene's gonna meet me there so yeah I forgot to bring my tripod Ugh. so I'm gonna have to prop you guys up somewhere and um, do a time-lapse kind of thing I forgot to bring my phone charger plug and oh you guys so yeah we'll, we'll make it work <laughs> I'll have you guys with me all weekend so yeah there'll be lots of footage okay let's go okay so here's one of the murals right outside of our shop let's see if I can bring, bring in a little bit so there's that one and then on the other side there's this one And oh, there's one on this on this side of the building too. <clears throat> there's this one. Over here is the Shimanus Museum. That's right across the street from us. The ocean is on the other side of that. And then we have cows, moose, and I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but, <laughs> but all down this street is there's murals on different buildings down here, and this is the main strip. So, and that's where we are. And then we've got the big library right on the other side of us. This is right across the street. This used to be the first Shimana sawmill. And it's got an old style um, water wheel. And then this is the map of Shimana and it tells you what you, are, what you can go and look at. And it's all numbered. So, yeah. Then you can go down here. <laughs> and over here is where they have, they usually have um, the big Shimanus fair, or the um, craft fair that they have every year. 
And of course, it's right across the street from where we are. So that's perfect. <laughs> Hi, Yarnabies. Okay, so <laughs> got the chair together. That took us, what, a few hours? Yep, it did. The chair should have been the easy thing. <laughs> um, so now we're doing the desk. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I really don't even know. Look at this. I'm afraid to open the bag. <laughs> like, like, oh my God. I thought it was a wood desk. She has, you should see the instructions. It's just unbelievable. It's a picture. And it was really good wording. It says exploded. <laughs> that should tell you everything. Oh my god. Oh, we are in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so, I didn't think this through very well. Um, but we're going to do it. We can do this. Um, it's going to take a long time, so I'm not going to videotape this. Uh, oh, hey, they got letters on these. Oh, good. Oh, good. They have okay, so we have, we have hope. Oh, we've got hope. <laughs> so, um, so in here, uh, if you guys can see this, uh, one thing that we have figured out in here that was not expected is it's hot. It's hot in here. The door is the only airflow that we have. So, I think we're going to set up. I'm not going to do all the permanent stuff, like the signage and stuff. Like, like deck it all out. Because I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to end up having to go for the other space that I originally wanted. Because the other space has open ceilings. There's no ceilings. And it's just lighting. Um... What are they called? Uh, skylights and stuff. And there's going to be way more airflow. Um, but for now, we're just going to make do with this and see how it goes. Who knows? Maybe when I get it done, it will actually work out. But for now, um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how it is. That it's really stuffy in here. I'll have to get a fan or something. That's all. Okay, wish us luck. <laughs> hey Yarnabies, okay, so I didn't get to videotape some of the setup because it was a pain in the butt, right? Um, I was going to put curtains up, but you know what, I something came up and um, for the Christmas season we might be moving, so I'm just going to do a temporary setup and because uh, this... This is the space that I wanted. This is this is the stuff that um, the lady that's coming in here right now until oh, September has. But this is the space, right? It's got the French doors there, right? And then this space is the add-on space. Hang on, let me zoom you out. There. This is the add-on space I was talking about. And I'm thinking about putting um, wrought iron fencing in here so that it closes it in and it's not so, it's not like a solid wall, but I gotta talk to the owners about that. So anyways, hopefully we'll be in here at Christmas time. This will be the yarnery. But for now, this is the storefront. And it's a disaster in here right now, you guys, but we have the, pre the basic layout. Um, this is going to have some jewelry on it. This this is going to have some clothing. Ah, there's my desk that I had a hell of a time with. Ah, turn right here's where the change room's going to be. All the purses are here. I don't know what do you guys think of the display. Oop. We just finished it. <laughs> um, over here, I'm thinking maybe jewelry on both of these. 
So, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way this turned out though. I think it shows off. I'm going to have my lighting underneath here like I do at Christmas time. But uh, yeah, so that's that. And me and Charlene are exhausted now. <laughs> we had to take out some of the um, the tables and stuff like that. This is going to be going back in the car, taken back home because we don't have the room for it right now. But once we get to the other spot, so that's that's it for now. I'll keep you. I'll I'll show you what we do next. Um, we're just kind of trying to figure things out right now. But if all goes well, we may end up opening before May 1st. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Hi, yarn of these. So my sister and I, we got a lot done today. Um, we got quite a bit of the setup done. I'm bagged. My back is killing me. So I'm going to go home, have a nice hot bath. So, oh, excuse me. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, when I go in tomorrow, I'll show you what I have done so far. Tomorrow is going to be putting up the clothing. I did the jewelry today, the jewelry and crystals. Um, starting to realize that I don't have a lot of room. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oops. Oh God, I'm driving George's van. I don't even know where everything is. Um, yeah, but it, it went well. And then there's a vendor there, vendor, a shop owner there that. Um, he does crystals as well, and some crystal jewelry and all that kind of stuff. But I think he buys all his stuff, um, whereas I make all my stuff. And um, he's going to be bringing in like big crystals and all that. So we don't, we're not really um, mixing stuff like I don't do stuff like he does he doesn't do stuff like I do but uh, he actually might be leaving and opening up his own store like an actual store or brick and mortar so um, so then I won't have to worry about it the guy beside me that does all the consignment clothing a little birdie told me that he might be leaving too. I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know what to think. Um, but that's okay because I'm just gonna get myself through the summer and see how well we do. We thought we've got people walking past the store already, you know. So, um, people are gonna know that there's a new store open that's good um, but it seems like people kind of just hang out they come around and check things out every so often and so that's going to be good uh, so when the bus tours and everything start coming in um, then it's really going to pick up and I got to really be careful because I'm hoping that I'm hoping we're going to have enough stock Ugh. Um, what else? Oh, <laughs> so the guy that does the crystals and stuff, he came in and he was looking at my crystals. Well, I have, I think I showed you guys, maybe, did I show you guys? I don't even know. You may have seen it in my video of um, the craft fair that I did with my sister, but I had two bags that have a band of crystals on them. Um, like tumbled crystal stones and I was selling them for $30 each because I'm so used to doing craft fairs in Nanaimo where nobody wants to really spend the money so I thought well at $30 I'm still making a bit of a profit and you know see how they go he came in and he asked me how much they were and he looked at me and he kind of cussed under his breath and I thought 
thought, uh, maybe I priced him too high. He looks at me and he goes, you've got a hundred dollars worth of stones on these bags. What are you doing? And I was like, oh, he says, sold, I'll buy them both. And I'm going, if you put those in your store and jack up the price, I'm gonna be really upset with you. He says, no, I'm gonna have them as Christmas gifts. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you better not be telling me a lie. Yeah, so, but you know what? I made the sale, I made a profit. I don't care, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so from what I'm understanding is that Shemanus is way different than the Nymo and that my prices need to come up. And I'm going, well, I just want to see how it goes through the summer. And if my stuff is flying off the shelf, excuse me. Which is not a bad problem to have. But if people are looking at it going, wow, what a steal, then I may revisit the pricing that I've done. But I don't want to get greedy, right? So, uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. But, anywho. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to go back. Charlene, we put the earring stands, I've got earring stands that spin. Um, Charlene's putting <clears throat> all the earrings on the cards that have the slider thing on it and uh, she's putting those together for me and then tomorrow I'm going to start putting up all the crochet clothing and stuff like that so yeah so well we'll check back with you and I'll show you what, what we're doing okay hi Yarnabies so Today's Monday the, I don't even know, 17th, 18th, something, I don't even know. Uh, we've had a major swerve. <clears throat> um, I'm rushing to the bank to get float money and I keep rushing to get to the shop. The shop's not quite done yet, uh, but we have a bus tour coming through <clears throat> today. So, today's not Monday, today's Tuesday. I don't even know what day it is you guys oh you're crooked so anyway yeah so we got the message this morning that a bus tour is coming through I mean I have the option of saying I'm passing it I'm just gonna close my gate <coughs> and continue on but George and my sister won't have it <laughs> my sister's kind of going well it's up to you George is going no we're here to make money open the doors and I'm going I'm not ready <coughs> so I'm opening my doors um, <coughs> it's gonna be a cluster <coughs> excuse me we had a major storm <coughs> last night the hail was coming down so hard it was just it was bouncing off the ground it like two feet in the air like it was insane and the thunder and lightning and I, it came out of nowhere and as soon you know as fast as it came in it was gone right but um, yeah so now today it's a nice bright sunny day so that's got to be a sign of some sort <coughs> um, I'm stressed to the max Holy smokes. Um, I can tell I'm stressed too because my throat's starting to bug me. But anyway. Um, yeah. So here we are. I will. I Like I, I got my signage in the car. I was planning on putting my signage up today. And you know just having a pokey day kind of thing. Right? No. Nope. So I guess we're going to see how it goes. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs>
They are ready. So we've got, we're not finished yet, but we're pretty much ready to open. So we've got the tea balls and some jewelry, some keychains. Crystals. That's some, these are cotton and linen. Got my, hi. <laughs> Got some, my whales. And these are my nieces. Aren't they adorable? The little seal. It's so cute. <laughs> and then I've got some baseball caps up here. I've got some owl shirts. And I've got them in the little baskets. And I've got the peekaboo kitties. And I've got my change room and my mirror. I still have to put I still have to put the hooks up on the wall for the change room. And then, don't look back there, it's a mess. Here's my desk, but we have to still put the um, sun catchers up there. We've got them right here. The desk is an absolute disaster at the moment, but it's my new chair. Some earrings, oh yeah, I've got the other earring thing over here. <laughs> And I've got my rack of sweaters here. And I'm so proud of this purse wall. Now these tags aren't going to be hanging like that. Um, probably next week is when I'm going to be getting my other tags in. So, so that's good. And then this is just garbage stuff that we got to get rid of. This space is going to be for these boho purses that I've got coming in. Um, so I've got the display all ready for that. And then I've got all of my jewelry in here. And that would be it. <laughs> so for right now, this is what it is. Um, I'm going to have some other stock that's going to come in. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think so far? I'm gonna put um, a logo up here too, uh, just so that it's not such a stark white wall. Um, yeah, like this is it, guys. So far, so good. Um, the bus tour didn't come in, I don't think, because nobody came in here. So, but that's okay. We've got lots of time. Um, but yeah. This took a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Um, but I will constantly be doing videos and showing you guys the new stuff that comes in and everything. And there it is. Okay, guys. So thanks for joining us on this crazy ride. Um, wow. Yeah. We we found out that you know some of the stuff like the shelves and stuff that I wanted to put in here aren't going to work. So we'll just wait. We'll wait until these other people are out of my spot. <laughs> okay guys, I love you. I will talk to you soon. Bye.